For this next presentation, I'm going to show you how to correct an ERS to the right, which is an extension rotation side bending dysfunction, which is known as a type 2 mechanics. And on this skeleton here, this is T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, T6. So I've marked this area in a black mark. So I'm saying that this area here between T6 inferior facet, which articulates on T7 superior facet, there is a fixation. So we're going to do an MET, which is a muscle energy technique, to try to open the facet joint on the right. So it's not a manipulative technique, it is a soft tissue technique known as an MET. So let's go through our process. So I've marked the skeleton on there, and I've marked my patient. Well, I did put some little marks earlier. Okay, so let's say T6 and T7. So we've got a fixation on this right hand side. So I would have gone through my assessment, and this is what I've decided. The way we do this one, interlock your fingers, please. Elbows forward. So what I'm going to do is anatomically find where we are. So I find T7. So what I'm going to do is extend, okay? So I just know where we are here. And then slowly initiate flexion until I feel it starting to move just at that point. There we go. So I can feel it just moving there. When I feel it moving, I stop. From this position, just make sure your own posture is pretty good, okay? Rather than slouch in. I'm going to get my patient just to slowly extend the spine against my hand, which is cradling both his arms for 10 seconds. Now, after 10 seconds, he's contracted around 20% effort. Take a breath in, please. Because it's closed on the right, what I need to do is flex. So, okay, so I'm going to use my healer hand pushing cordially here. Okay, so I'm going to push down to lock T7. As I'm flex, I want to encourage rotation to the left and side bend into the left, okay? To open the right side facet joint. You're not gonna feel a audible cavitation on this technique. It is simply a soft tissue technique. And we repeat again, take a breath in and then pull up to the right. We would normally do this three times. Let's say this is the third time. He is contracting for 10 seconds, 20% effort, relax, take a breath in. And as he breathes out, lock T7 going cordially, going down as I flex and rotate and side bend him to the left to open the facet on that right side. If this is a third time, I would normally hold him for around 20 to 25 seconds so the body remembers the new position. After that, I bring him back up to neutral. Relax your arms, please. Then you can run through the passive test and you can also run through the palpation assessment to see that it is now opened the facet on T6, on T7. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you for watching.